Hello, Hello guys. guys. I'm Rowan. And I'm Miguel. And today, we are going to be testing out Scratch 4.0 mechanics in Scratch Lab. We're going to try out experimental blocks that the Scratch team is exploring. We aren't going to be doing any of the face sensing, but we will be doing animated text and the new, see the new block colors. So, let's check out animated text and see what we can do first. All right, so in Scratch, you can animate text, but it looks a bit wonky. Or you could draw your own text, but you can only do that in the editor. From the looks of it here, you can set the text to blank and make it say something. So let's try that. All right. And let's make it say scratch abilities. Why did I do that? I cannot spell. Okay. So let's try it. Wow, that looks pretty cool. But I don't see much of the animating. Yeah, right there. It's animating. It is? Yeah. Okay. Let's put that in a forever loop and see it in action. And as you can see, the rainbow is changing colors. Let's try with something different to see if we can see it better. This is the zoom effect. Looks pretty cool. And how about type? It looks like someone's typing it out on a typewriter. Because typewriters are the only piece of technology yeah, uh -huh. that you can type on. Okay. Wait. We can also show this fight while it's typing stuff. Uh, wait. Oh, wait, never mind. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay. Never can, mind, guys. We can also change the sprite. Let's make it do a random fight forever. Wow. Every time. And you may notice some of the fonts from the Scratch editor here. That's pretty cool. And yes. let's also make it change a color forever. Uh, okay. How do I do that? We're going to make it set color to blank. I don't think it can do that. Yes, it can. Wait, oh. But you can't type it. Now, let's go to operators uh -huh. and go a pick random. Now, let's put that inside of there. And now, let's see how that looks. We're going to make it 1 to 100. It is not working. Let's click the green flag again. <clears throat> As you can and see, it we go seems like stupid. that doesn't work yet. Let's try this aligning. Let's align it to the right. <laughs> it's typing from the right side. How about the left? And yes, it works like normal. What about the center? That is very Wow. Cool. All right. I think that's enough with the text. Let's get to the other thing. That I forgot. Yeah, new block colors. Let's look at some new block colors. Usually, you can only do this in Scratch 4.0. What? what? <laughs> no, <laughs> usually you can only do this in Scratch add-ons. So, let's see what it looks like. Oh, no. <laughs> it's so pastel. I, I don't really like that look. I think Scratch should keep it. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this one. Let's give some feedback. Never Fe mind. <laughs> I'm a, not a monkey. <laughs> okay. Uh. Comment down below how you feel about these new pastel colors and if they should add it. I don't really like it that much. I'm just not used to the black text. Uh, I'm blue, Okay. 
Let's go to Scratch Lab. Try it out. Let's check out some projects with these new box. Let's see. Paint with Gobo. Whoa. This is when? Cool. Oh, let's get the circle again. And we're painting with this rainbow circle. Let's see how they coded this, because I'm pretty curious. I'm curious, George. And it seems like they're using the pen tool. Yes. But ew! These, <laughs> these <laughs> pastel colors are horrendous in Scratch. I do not like these. Let's check out some Scratch projects with the new text. I don't watch. Let's see this cl crystal clicker game. Looks very simple to me. Speaking of our clicker game, we decided to discontinue the series. <laughs> the game Sorry, was guys. getting too complicated, and we didn't know what to do, as this channel is meant for simple tutorials. And it doesn't seem like anything really special. I mean, the only thing I can see is the text getting bigger at the start. But, but aside from that, it's not very good. I rate this game a 2 out of 10. Let's see how the score looks like, though. Let's go to the scores. Mm. Oh, and this is actually a lot simple for code. Before, you have to make a ridiculous amount of code just to make it show up. But this is easier. And it's a bit... It's, it's a bit clunky. But... I'm sure we can work out the kinks with some simple code. I supported this scratch update. Alright, let's see. Let's check out one last project before we end off the video. What is this, Taco Tales? Wait, let's, let's, which one? Let's do, let's do Taco Tales. That one seems pretty funny. <laughs> Name an animal. What's an Monkey. animal? Monkey. Monkey. I love monkey. Okay. <laughs> Name of food. Tacos. Surprisingly, the tacos ate the monkey. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's cool. Wait, no, that's not really cool. uh, It seems like they're using two fonts in the same sprite. Let's check if that's true. Looks like and they use different lines for each word. Surprisingly, the tacos ate the joint animal exclamation mark. Hmm. I feel like there should be an easier way to do this without having multiple sprites. Maybe instead of using multiple sprites, we could have done clones. But maybe they can work out the kinks. Uh, sorry that we couldn't do face sensing, but if you want to check it out for yourself, there's a link to this page in the description. Alright guys, sorry we didn't put out a better video and sorry we discontinued our click. But today, Scratch was the one that used some Scratch abilities. abilities.